Hi, welcome to another session of Circuits and Networks. In today's Transient Analysis Class 9, we are going to see the basic derivation involved in order to obtain the transient current in RC circuit. Here we are going to see how to obtain the voltage across resistance and how to obtain the voltage across capacitance when transient current is flowing into the circuit. So previously you can see the switch is open, no current flows into the network and naturally no parameter is going to receive any kind of energy. But as soon as the circuit is closed, the current starts flowing and this current is treated as the transient current, especially when you are dealing with transient analysis. So our basic aim is to obtain the expression of transient current when a DC input is applied to RC circuit. So what are the initial conditions we have? We know that the switch is open during uh, the initial conditions, the switch is open, so naturally no current will flow through resistor or capacitor. And hence, no voltage is developed across resistance as well as capacitance. So this is the important consideration. And that is why we are treating this as equation 1. Means what? There is no voltage across resistance, there is no voltage across capacitance when the switch is open. Now when the switch is closed, current starts flowing in the circuit. So naturally current start will flow into the circuit and when current starts flowing into the circuit uh, when we are going to apply KVL uh, to this single circuit so we are going to see that the input voltage as well as the drop across resistance and capacitance is equal to zero that is the algebraic sum of the voltages in a closed circuit is equal to zero so the voltage across resistance is Ri the voltage across capacitance is 1 by C integration I dt. Now this we are treating as equation 2. If at all we differentiate this equation, we are going to obtain R di by dt plus differentiation of integration cancels out and we are replaced with I by C is equal to 0. So I am going to take di by dt plus I by Rc equal to 0. And with this small modification, I am framing equation 3 as di by dt plus i by rc is equal to 0. Now, what kind of equation is this? Now, this equation is also known as homogeneous equation whose general solution is obtained as k times e to the power of minus pt. Now, p value will be 1 by rc. Now why we are not employing that approach because we don't know that the initial conditions of the resistor and capacitor when the switch was open. So hence we are going to employ another technique which is known as the general linear differential equation of first order. Now this equation is also known as first order linear differential equation. It can be obtained the solution, you can be obtained the solution in this way by taking variable separable method. Means what? I am taking the like terms on one side and unlike terms on another side. So di by i is equal to minus dt by rc. Now this is the variable separable method and I am going to employ integrating that is integration on equation 4. When I am going to integrate equation 4, what I am going to get? I have di by dt, di by i and integration of di by i will be obtained as ln i which is equal to, since we have dt and integration is applied, so it will be remained as t by rc since minus is there, minus will come as it is plus the integration constant k. So this we are treating as equation 5. I hope you understood how we have changed our intention of equation 3 to a variable separable method as equation 4 and then we are applying integration to equation 4 and this is the result what we have obtained and this we are treating as equation 5. Now we have to obtain the value of k. So k can be determined from the initial conditions. Initially we know that the voltage across capacitor voltage across resistor both are zeros. So that is the chance in this. But remember 
as soon as the capacitor is as soon as the capacitor is taken as its initial condition when the switch is closed the current which is going to flow that is will be treated as i of 0 plus now this is the important catch over here as soon as the capacitor is connected to a switch it will be act as short circuit and at this instant of time i am going to obtain the value of current i of 0 plus remember i of 0 minus is 0 but here in this case i of 0 plus is equal to v in by r according to ohm's law so at t equal to 0 plus i of 0 plus is equal to v in by r the applied voltage to the resistance now this we are treating as equation 6 and equation 6 we can substitute in equation 5 in order to determine the value of k. So you can see I have taken the value of i as v in by r. So ln i changes to ln v in by r equal to you have t value as 0 so minus 0 plus by rc plus k which will be giving you the value of k that is ln v in by r and this particular value of k we are treating as equation 7. Is this clear? Right. Now what I am going to do, I will substitute the equation 7 in equation 5. So by substituting equation 7 in equation 5, this is the new equation which you are going to obtain and we are treating as equation 8 which is ln i is equal to minus t by rc, the value of k here replaced by ln v in by r. Now you can see in equation 8 on the left side on the right side we have ln values so I am taking ln values on one side and the other parameters on right hand side. So ln i minus ln v in by r is equal to minus t by rc. Now this particular ln equation can be changed to ln a minus ln v which is equal to ln a by b. So ln i by V value is V in by R which is equal to minus T by R. Now from our general mathematics, I can have I by V in by R equal to E to the power of minus T by R. This is from our basic mathematics, how to obtain the value of ln in terms of E to the power of any constant multiplied with theta. So this is how we get this particular equation. Well, this I can get the value of i, which is equal to v in by r multiplied with e to the power of minus t by rc. And this particular equation we are treating as equation 9. So what kind of equation is this? When you are going to substitute different values of t and when you are going to take the time constant tau equal to rc, and vary the value of small t, you can frame the graph and the graph is obtained as exponentially decaying. I hope you understood how we got this graph from equation 9. The starting parameter is v in by r and we have decaying term e to the power of minus t by rc where rc is nothing but the time constant. So the time constant is kept and t is varied and if at all you are varying the value of t from 0 to t conditions for different values of t, this is the graph which we are going to obtain. So what is the conclusion of the transient current in RC circuit when DC supply is applied? We are going to get the exponential decaying curve. I hope you understood how we got this curve based upon equation 9 and how we have derived equation 9 from equation 8. Right. Now, since the voltage across resistance is equal to R into I and we have I is equal to V in by R e to the power of minus T by RC. So, when I am going to take the voltage across resistance, I am going to obtain V in because R here is there and we have I equal to V in by R. R and R will get cancelled. So, the voltage developed across resistance will be equal to V in times e to the power of minus t by rc. Now this is quite resemblance with the current equation for rc circuit and hence we are going to obtain the same graph. The difference is that uh, 
there in current equation we have i of t versus t where the curve was decaying now we have v of t versus t that is also decaying but the initial value is v in i hope you understood this step right so this graph is framed based upon equation 10 and the left over topic is obtain the value of voltage across capacitor the voltage across capacitor is given by 1 by c integration 0 to t of i of i dt whose value is nothing but v in by r e to the power of minus t by rc dt dt is missing here just concentrate on dt integration of i dt should be there this is a small mistake here please ignore that but the thing is that we need to integrate e to the power of minus e by rc dt so if at all we treat this equation as 11 we are going to obtain see i have a constant v input and i have a resistance so i am taking outside so v in by rc this is how we have applied and integration of 0 to t v in uh, sorry 0 0 to t integration e to the power of minus t by rc dt value is e to the power of minus t by rc divided by minus 1 by rc plus t when this rc rc term will go off and minus will be applicable to minus v in so in fact this changes to minus v in e to the power of minus t by rc plus k k is a integration constant now we have analyzed already that the value of capacitor voltage at t equal to 0 is 0 so when you are going to employ this value by framing equation 11 and 12 together and substituting a value of t equal to 0 here i'm going to get k equal to you have 0 which is equal to minus v in e to the power of 0 by rc plus k hence the value of k will be equal to v in this minus goes to that side and becomes positive e to the power of 0 value is 1 so once we obtain the value of k we can substitute the value of k in equation 12 so with this i am going to get vc that is the voltage around across, across capacitor is equal to minus you can see the equation 12 we have same v in e to the power of minus v by rc and just now we got the value of k which is nothing but v in combining these two values of voltage across capacitor i can frame as v in open bracket 1 minus e to the power of minus v by rc now this is the voltage developed across capacitor so this equation 40 is the voltage value across capacitance and it is observed to be exponentially rising if that is true just vary the values of t from 0 to t for different values of t by taking time constant of equal to rc we are going to get exponentially rising curve so that is the main difference when you are going to see the transient behavior of rc circuit compared to rl circuit so this particular class we are going to treat as a basic derivation involved in order to obtain the transient current for rc circuit what we have seen we have seen that the transient current curve is decaying in nature whereas the voltage developed across capacitor is exponentially rising so i hope you like this video please share and subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon for the future notifications thank you